ice cream time. Blitz ice, that is an ice that can eat directly from the fruit processor. I don't have to freeze it anymore because it's already frozen. And to keep it frozen while processing it, I have to be a little bit tricky. The easiest way is just taking frozen bananas and process them. Here I always freeze some bananas, especially when they're really ripe. I have to eat them or freeze them, otherwise they turn bad. So I have frozen these and I can make an ice cream right away from the, from the food processor, fitted with the S-blade here. This is my tool for ice cream because it doesn't turn that fast. There's so much power with a high speed bender that it just still remains um, frozen and still creamy. Perfect texture with this food processor. Before I put it in there, I would add today, I make a refinement. I add some flavor. First, it is a um, strawberry ice cream. So the main part is strawberries, frozen strawberries. You see they're frozen <laughs> and they have to be, otherwise it doesn't work. And I could do that just frozen, frozen strawberries and bananas would be perfect. But today I want to add a little bit more flavor and creaminess. For that, the trick comes. I want to show you. I have already shown you another pro in another video in another ice cream, but today it is again, um, I use my high speed blender to make a cream that I um, process together with the ice cream. But first I have to make the cream. And I already tried it before I made the video. I tried, I have to use our frozen ingredients here too, otherwise it's too warm. Yeah? It would make the ice cream too runny. So I use um, frozen um, strawberries here. Some of the frozen strawberries are here yeah? and a little banana. Banana is not frozen. It's one or two bananas, not frozen because I need some, something runny to blend the other ingredients. If I put only frozen ingredients in here, it's very hard for the blender to work. So I need a little bit of unfrozen and of frozen to keep it cold. And I have cashews here have to make it creamy. Cashews make it creamy. I have a handful of cashews adding to my ice cream. It's wonderful if you add these, frozen, uh, these cashews or other nuts like coconut cream to the ice cream. It's really nice. Now the trick is only to keep it frozen, to eat it, to eat it right away. And to make the flavor of the strawberries a little bit nicer, I have some dates here, you know, pitted dates and a lemon. A sweet and sour, not to season it, but to highlight um, the natural flavor of the strawberries. Sometimes the strawberries are not the super sweetest strawberries and super ripest you can get, but anyway, you put some lemon and some dates in there, chuck, they are nice. So I blend this now in the high speed blender. As I said, some frozen strawberries in there to keep it cold, and then I put that in the food processor with the other ingredients. Blender dance. <laughs> and then frozen and it's easier to make portions to make the right quantities and a larger part of frozen strawberries because I want it to be a strawberry ice cream yeah, basically so I have more strawberries than bananas that's the only reason you could do it anyway so now here are the frozen ingredients and here is the additional refinement here you see I can it's pretty runny already you see so creamy and I put that into the on top of the frozen uh, bananas and strawberries um, that everything will be an ice cream when it's fro when it's processed and I can eat it right away I will do that in a moment but I want to get out uh, everything off the blender you know, not to waste anything so I have this scraper here it's a versatile tool, it's a soft uh, scraper, yeah. gum, the gummy, and that 
this is gonna be here is the cream and the frozen ingredients and I hope that works now so if the cream is too warm it doesn't work it remains then it will be runny afterwards but it should be ice cream let's see if it works so right away cream. I have my ice tube tool here and let's see if it works. It's pretty little, little bit runny but it's still they are still ice balls. I can still I can still eat them. They're still nice. Let's see something that shouldn't be in there. It's beginning to get a little bit runny but I eat right away I can enjoy it as ice cream you see still nice ice cream if it's a little bit cold now it's a little, if it's a little bit um, runny now I can always put it in the freezer for an hour or so it will take an hour to get firm again and then I can use it so right away the rest I will put in the freezer anyway but this I will enjoy it right away I will uh, waste no more time now I want to get to my ice cream I hope you enjoy thanks for watching and if so give me a thumbs up Maybe you want to subscribe and leave me on YouTube. Have another recipe every single day. And find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter.